fantastic story of success. Uh, part of it is because they're producing a great product, but most of it is because of the workforce here. And talk to management, talk to labor. Um, UAW has made some concessions, as you know, in the context of the bankruptcy. And right now, everybody's working as a team. And that team is producing a world-class car and a world-class production facility. The technology is cutting edge. Um, I just went through the plant here and was told this might be the largest automated plant in the world and one of the most efficient plants in the world. So uh, this is a good story. I'm co-chair of the Senate Auto Caucus, and I've gone to most of the major auto facilities in Ohio over the last year talking about what we can do in Washington to make it even better. And there are things that can and should be done to make our auto companies here in Ohio even more competitive. Uh, one is an area of trade. Uh, some countries, including countries in Asia, are not playing by the rules in the way they manipulate their currency. It makes their cars less expensive when they sell, sell them over to us. It makes our cars more expensive when we try to export them to their country. So uh, I'm fighting that. I'm, I'm working on both sides of the aisle on that issue. Uh, another one is energy. Uh, we do need to produce more energy here in this country to keep our costs down. One of the advantages of this plant compared to a plant somewhere else this is a global business, so it could be anywhere, is that the cost of energy is relatively low, specifically natural gas, uh, but also we've got to be sure we continue to have relatively inexpensive energy here in Ohio through the electricity market, which is coal, natural gas, um, and a couple of uh, nuclear plants here in, in northern Ohio. So we talked about some of that today. Um, there are other issues that uh, I got uh, uh, some opinions on today that have nothing to do with the auto business, which is always fun, going through the plant, talking to people. But it's, uh, he also talks about workforce readiness, uh, whether we have the people that will be able to build the next generation crews. Uh, we told him the team that we have, we're very proud of here and we're confident that we'll be able to have the, uh, the uh, auto workers of not only this generation, the next generation, and the leadership as well.